Oopsies. Good morning, my name is Bianca and I recently started living out of my SUV with my tiny little companion, Diesel. And today, this is what we wake up to. I tried to go in there this morning and I took a couple steps in the water and it felt like the mud and muck at the bottom was gonna swallow me alive. So I decided against it. I rather like my life at the moment. Usually in the mornings I make my coffee with my French press, which this is a part of, but I saw I had these little packets of that coffee and I tried it out. And if I didn't rip it, I think it would have been a great little contraption but I accidentally ripped it and now I have coffee grounds in my coffee, but you know, it's fine. Today, I think Diesel and I are going to explore the Badlands here in South Dakota. I've been in South Dakota for a couple of days now and I gotta say, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The weather, kind of insane. It can get so hot and then like freezing, it's kind of wild. I'm going to finish this coffee and do a little rock searching. When I was in Arkansas, I collected little rocks from the dispersed site that I was at. There's also some sea glass in there. So this is a little thing that I'm doing. Are you alive? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, this poor pretty looks so disheveled. <laughs> hey, buddy. You okay? Yeah. There's something wrong with the poor baby. Oh. The sky does not look real. Are you kidding me? Anyways, back to our scheduled shenanigans these are the rocks that i found and i also found a little bone it is so much later than what i wanted it to be to head to the badlands however we're still gonna go i don't think i recorded it but what happened with the bird it flew away not very far but i do think it was capable enough i immediately looked at wildlife rehabilitation centers and it was like two hours away because i'm kind of not in the middle of nowhere but not in like the biggest city yeah i was like oh well i'm gonna do what i gotta do um but then it flew i maybe it just wanted to hang out for a little bit however i am so grateful that was amazing what a start to the day it is a beautiful freaking morning yeah so let's go to the badlands huh diesel Stop because I wanted to get a snack and now that I'm here I'm like oh my bladder is like hey uh, let's use the bathroom I've been seeing signs for this wall drugstore since I like entered South Dakota but that last sign I think that's the one that finally got me it's so late I don't know what to do I don't know if I should just kind of hang around and then explore the Badlands like super early tomorrow snack time for the both of us I'm a sucker for a scenic overlook, but I want to see what they're... Ooh. The world is just so pretty. I can't. All right, Diesel, let's go. people 
para mí. One wrong when you my phone's gone. That's pretty standard for who I am as a person. I just hit it again. Oh, pain besides cut up, it's gonna be bruised. the fossil or something or other little boardwalk loop look at that look at this one this is so cool it's breezy but it's also like the sun you know i think it, what time is it like noon so i think it's only gonna get hotter diesel's in the car and the ac passed out that little walk was just like enough for him steve steve Alan! <laughs> oh my god. Look at that little chubby guy. There's one over there. Uh, there's a couple over there. Uh, uh, where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Look at this. Look at this chunky boy. Look at him! Oh my god, you're so cute! You see how hot it is? Do you see the heat waves? Oh my goodness. Love you. What? Uh, what? <coughs> oh. Okay, you gotta go take the Sage Rim Road to get to the Prairie Dogs. I wanna go see the Prairie Dogs. Prairie Dogs. So many. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is. There's there's a lot of them. There's a He is upset. Buddy, what are you upset about? So, there are so many mounds everywhere. 
Mm -hmm. You see the little guy standing up way over there. He's still squawking. So I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I think, whoop, yeah, those are bison. Wow. I'll get to there eventually. Right now I'm hanging out with the squeakers, yapping. Yapping. Like me. Yappers. Table. And on iOverlander, it says that this is a dispersed camping spot. So it says that high clearance vehicles are only allowed over here. Maybe at the end there's camping. I'm gonna go turn around because there's there's a pull off like right over here. I'm not gonna stay here. I just want. I was nosy, so I wanted to see. Oh, look at these all. Are you actually kidding me? Okay, so this is the pull off. Um, so you have the road is on the other side of this median. Ah. Fucking flies! There's this like, just loop. Just like a little half circle. That high clearance road continues that way. But look at this you. a little trail so I'm just gonna skedaddle all down here oh my goodness oh that's well it's a little scary oh it just keeps going oh um maybe this is just for water Ooh. oh no oh, okay okay yep yep this is as far as I'm gonna go oh my god So this is the other road. This one kind of goes up. This is like an offshoot off the main one that kind of goes up. This is this, the first one that I passed. And it's it's kind of bumpy. I mean, you can see here <laughs> that it can get a little intense, but I mean, it's, it's flat on that side. So you see it's super flat over here. Someone's definitely dispersed camp back here. You can park up pretty much right up to the edge. And then this will be your view from this spot. And it also looks like there's some flat space over there for some tents. just got a low tire pressure warning on this tire and it's pretty significant. Yeah, it says 25. I do have a tire compressor so I can fill it, but if there is a hole, then that is gonna be a problem. This is a trick that my dad taught me. This is vinegar um, and water but it does bubble a little bit, so I think it will. You could either spit or some kind of water and soap mixture to see if 
there are bubbles being created anywhere. If there is, that is where you have a leak. So I moved it forward quite a bit and sprayed the tire everywhere and it doesn't look like there's a leak. So I don't understand why the pressure dropped pretty significantly. I'm going to fill it up and cross my fingers and hope for the best. <laughs> it's a massacre. Ah, look, it's right here. So I just saw this um, from the main road. Uh, there's a sign that says no campfires. Um, but then that's that's it. That's all there is right there. I just I know there's a creek somewhere I think, and I don't want to like fall victim to it. Oh my god, there it is. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, look at this angel. <laughs> He's glowing. I was planning on being here a few days. I have to edit and stuff, but look, see, it just says no campfires. That's it. That's all it says. Oh, it is cold. <laughs> what is this? What fucking dinosaur is this? What is that? What? <laughs> I just found more bones. So on the Colorado Trail, I also was constantly finding bones. After going up the hill to get some service and consulting with my hunter friend, um, it is most likely a bison. Googled it, it is a bison. <laughs> Still, kinda creepy that there's just this huge bison skeleton not very far from my site. Weird. Also, where's the rest of it? I found the answer. The hoof is still on it. <laughs> the hoof. This thing is as big as my body. Um, here's a closer look of that hoof. <laughs> what is that? The, the, what is that? There's, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things happening here. Okay, I'm gonna go check out what that other thing is. It's just a tire. Thank God, something normal. Well, I mean, not for being out here, but at least, you know, it's not remains of anything else. Jesus Christ. You know what? I spent five weeks in like the back back country of Colorado uh, in nothing but a tent with mountain lions, moose, elk, bears, and I didn't let that stop me. So we put up the tailgate tent. And the thing about Mr. Bison over there, there's no more meat on there. There's no more scavengers that are gonna try it. I mean, unless someone really wants that hoof, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I, like, I can't. Like, the weather is beyond perfect. This location is perfect. And I just, I wanna enjoy it fully the way that I want to and not, like, be scared 
I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, today has been a day. My tire pressure went down two PSI, so that's fun. I wanted to get new tires when I went back to Florida anyways, so I might just have to speed that process along. Um, when I get to Portland, I'll probably stay there for a while because like, I have a friend, a couple friends that I'd like to see, so maybe I can just get new all-terrain tires there. And it would just make sense because like all-terrain tires in Florida, all-terrain tires in Portland, right? Okay, yeah. Thank you guys for joining me and Diesel today, mostly me while Diesel slept in the AC. I hope you guys enjoyed and stick around for our other adventures. If you like the video, like the video and subscribe if you want, you know, I'm not saying that you have to, but it'd be cool if you did. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.